You've been involved in a motor vehicle crash and you're a pedestrian. You're hit by a car. I've represented hundreds of folks in those sorts of cases. Without ever meeting you, let me tell you what I know right off the bat. The injuries that you sustained are greater than the amount of insurance coverage on that car that caused that crash. How could I possibly know that? Well, first of all, I've represented hundreds of folks in exactly your position. Secondly, I know how catastrophic nearly all auto pedestrian accidents are. You're being hit by a multiple thousand pound metal vehicle and you're being tossed sometimes 30, 40, 50 feet and you land on gravel and you roll. You're going to have skin issues. You're going to have bone issues. You're going to have arthritic issues. You're going to have potentially fractures of things. You're going to have things that don't heal the way they should. And then you've got the secondary stuff. You're going to be looking at long term, early onset of arthritis, um, perhaps a tired new set of dental work. Um, and even a lot of times you might feel like a few days or a few weeks after a crash that you're, you're, you're on the mend. And I hope you are. But the problem is over time you start realizing how bad you are. At my office when you come see me, we go beyond simply talking about the policy on that first vehicle, that vehicle that hit you. We're, we're, we're already beyond that. They, in my view, owe that. Think about this. If you are a resident relative of a household that has additional coverage, whether it's your own car, even though I know that car wasn't involved in this crash, or you live with your parents, or you live with an in-law, or you live with somebody who has other insurance coverage called underinsured motorist coverage, even though those vehicles weren't involved at all in this crash, you could very well be looking at additional compensation. As your attorney, I would be looking to those, to, to, to those areas of additional compensation to try to help you. You could also be looking at the driver of the crash vehicle also. Was he an employee? Was he employed by somebody and was he on a task for an employer? Was he a resident relative of a household that has other coverages that would afford him coverage? Does he have aspects of his homeowner's insurance policy called umbrella coverage that might afford additional coverage? See, you're going to be wanting to find a lawyer who's going to be looking at all of these possibilities. Um, it, it takes some creativity. It takes some ingenuity. Uh, it, it, sometimes it takes hard work and just rolling up your sleeves and, and trying to get to the bottom of how do we take a person who's got immeasurable injuries and may have these injuries for the next 20 or 30 years and how do we fund an amount of money through all of the possible sources that are going to get you compensated. I hope you consider calling us because we have a lot of ideas on those subjects.